you want beef at the price of bread. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the system can't sustain that. Mm -hmm. Right. The system, the industrial system can churn it out, but the system as in the earth can't sustain that. Mm -hmm. It's just it's not possible. The time that we spend to pick varieties to grow, to match them with the uh, dressing or an appropriate use, and get them to your table, and the time that you spend deciding who to come out with, getting all the way out here, and the time around the table, that's all part of your experience in your meal. There are three tiers, uh, I think, in the restaurant industry. Uh, and this came from one of your books. One is, uh, I'm full, so, you know, so yeah. you, you know those restaurants. Yeah. Um, that next up, you know, that was delicious. Right. And then uh, the third tier, uh, was life is good. Hey guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So clearly we're not in the kitchen today. We are actually taking you guys on an organic farm tour. Yep. So Jerry and Renee Cornette are the owners of Lake House Farm, which is an organic produce farm just north of Lincoln, Nebraska, where we live. And we became acquainted with them and have gotten to know them over the years at our local Sunday Farmers Market. They own an organic farm-to-table restaurant right there on the farm called Prairie Plate. We had an awesome tour. They sat us down, fed us an amazing meal. We were there for like, we were basically there all day and we had an absolute blast. These people care about quality of food, organic farming, just amazing practices all eating the way around. Eating seasonal. <laughs> yeah, eating seasonal. Like it's, it's about as good as it can get especially where we're located, right here in the heartland. This is the way food should be. They're bringing it back. And this, this place is literally a hidden gem in every sense of the word, especially yeah. for here in the middle of the Midwest in yeah. Nebraska, where everybody's just worried about bellying up at the local steakhouse and all you can eat buffets. This is locally sourced, seasonal, organically grown, fresh, as fresh as it gets and a lot of thought and preparation goes into each and every plate. The menu changes on a weekly basis based upon what's growing at the farm. <laughs> so thank you Jerry and Renee. We had a, such an awesome day. It was so much fun. We might be back like every Monday. We'll just do like a farm tour and you can feed us lunch. That would be amazing. Well, we will let them do the rest and yep. show you guys around. So enjoy. Yes. Hey guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and I am with Jerry and Renee Cornette of Lake House Farm, which is a certified organic produce farm just outside of Lincoln, Nebraska. When we opened this restaurant, we thought, okay, yeah. hey, let's celebrate food. Right. Let's make food fun. Yeah. Let, let's make it a celebration. She wanted to a relatively small restaurant where you're the chef, maybe assistant. It's personal. Fifth, right. Yeah, a little yeah. more personal. You go talk to your table, you know, 56 seats. Yeah. I also so. thought that this was a crazy idea. Nobody's I bet. ever going to do this. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you say restaurant, they're already halfway not I know. listening. I know. <laughs> and then, you know, restaurant that's different. Yeah. 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 We kind of keep going through the, they just don't know what they don't know yet. Yep. You don't even know to ask the question. And so where do you get the word to people? And yeah. they're always so offended to come out here and like, how come you've been open five years and I didn't know yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> the way the farm grows and what we grow is based on what's the restaurant need, you know, as it moves sure. through the season. The folks that come from outside, they're like, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. This is a unique, there yeah. are mm -hmm. probably a dozen restaurants like this in the United States, Right. Yeah. you know, um, and most of them charge a lot more than we do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And then there are some people that are, that are retired farmers, and it's interesting. Um, 
because often I get the comment from them, you know, we used to eat this way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah. used to. We used to eat this way. Whole yeah. vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Very, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of meat. You slaughter a, a cow. Yeah. To do what? I know. <laughs> you, yeah. You know, you, you yeah. don't have enough freezer space to put it no in. No kidding. What are you going to do with <laughs> all that? What are you going to do with all of <laughs> it? Yeah. You know, we, we use a, a soil block system. And it's essentially this little block. We start to seed in. This is a uh, this is a summer lettuce called Grandpa Admire. It's an heirloom lettuce um, that does well in the heat. Yeah. And so we'll we'll grow winter lettuces, and then we transition to summer lettuces. And then there's a point where okay, lettuce just doesn't grow very well here because it gets too hot. It gets really bitter. And so what we do in the restaurant is like, okay, at that point, stop, and then you yeah. go to a salad that is tomato and cucumber and not lettuce, right? right. But I have to explain, because the first item on the menu is always Lake House Farm salad, and it will change to be whatever it oh, is wow. that we have that's the best from the farm. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's tomatoes and cucumbers, and sometimes it's lettuce. And so people see salad, and they automatically think that. So it's very important the servers remember to tell them that the salad isn't lettuce if it's not lettuce. Right. Um, because we're used to thinking that's the only choice. Mm -hmm. yeah primary purpose of this is really protecting it from the wind yeah it'll get down to 10 below in here and the kale will, will be fine yeah the spinach will be fine really even the lettuce will survive one or two frosts yeah we grow um more tomatoes out here and like two and a half rows are just sauce tomatoes san yeah. marzano so we they're meant to be cooked down. Two types of sweet peppers. One is long, and the other one, the sheep nose pimento, is a small one. It's like it's a slow food like architect. Like the bell pepper one. that you think of, but squished. So it's like this big. Uh -huh. It's perfect stuffing size, but yeah. smaller. But it's got a lot more meat uh -huh. flesh to it, mm -hmm. and um, the skin is still thin. So you don't really have to peel them for a lot of things if you're going to puree, use mm -hmm. them in something but they stuff and cook really well. Yeah. Like so have you guys been ones. organic since day one? Yeah. yeah. I've heard that like the certification process is pretty rigorous, <laughs> is it? It is, every year you submit a plan um, and, and then they inspector. review it and then they have an inspector come out. Mm -hmm. um, and it really comes down to, you know, doing what you said you were gonna do and then paying attention to things like soil health yeah. mm -hmm. and biodiversity. Like they just added a biodiversity page for us. We looked, I look at this property in two ways. One, uh, it's got an incredible amount of biodiversity. Yeah. And so I just let it go. I don't try to do anything to change it. Yeah. Stayed there. There's actually a little museum, and they explain to you, you know, this is the carrot we grow because yeah. it can grow in sand, yeah. and a machine can harvest it. Yeah. And you know, sand doesn't. You know, the the vegetable is not picking up nutrients, mm -hmm. minerals from something like sand. You you've got to be adding just about everything. Yeah. Where here we have clay soils, which means they can be a little more problematic to grow in, but it's a lot easier because the particles are smaller for that plant to take up all of those nutrients or minerals right. and then convert it into I, you know, flavor. one flavor yeah. for us, but yeah. for others, nutrients. And so that carrot that grows in a healthy hummus, organic matter rich soil yeah. is naturally going to take up 
all of that all those flavor. Yeah, it, yeah. It it's like yeah. baby formula versus breast milk. Oh, right. yeah, there was right. a period when it was around yeah. when yeah, we were it's born, very good where yeah, they, yeah. science knows better. Yeah. And so we're going to make formula. It's going to have everything the baby needs in it. It's going to, yeah. and then they were yeah. finding out. Wait, we missed this, and we didn't know about that. Yeah. We can't simulate this other thing. No. And then there's a, so all of that stuff that we don't know because nature's better at it. Yeah. Right. That also works for other systems. Yeah. Yeah. I asked, in fact, he was an old man, you know, I think he was a retired farmer. He's like, I said, why, why do you buy our carrots? He's like, they taste like the ones my grandmother used to grow. along with some steamed and sauteed chard. So we're excited to dig in. The produce <laughs> perspective, is, you know, when, you, when you, uh, you grow it for the season, you grow it for the region, and then you harvest it at a peak um, for flavor, you focus on flavor. Um, one, you don't need to do much in the kitchen. Right. Um, and two, you walk away uh, more sat satiated. Yeah. Um, and and it's celebratory. There are three tiers, uh, I think, in the restaurant industry. Uh, and this came from one of their books. One is uh, I'm full. So, you know, so yeah. you, you know those restaurants. Yeah. Um, that next up, you know, that was delicious. Right. And then uh, the third tier uh, was life is good. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, when you're walking away, and I think we want to be kind of between that was delicious and life is good. Love that. Somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, it, and it never tastes better than in context, in the season, in the time, in the place that's grown. It's not going to get any better yeah. from that point, yeah. taking it somewhere else. The time that we spend to pick varieties to grow to match them with the uh, dressing or an appropriate use and get them to your table and the time that you spend deciding who to come out with getting all the way out here and the time around the table that's all part of your experience in your meal yeah okay so we hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> you know the drill give us a thumbs up give us a like leave us a comment below Leave us some love. Let us know what you liked, what you want to see more of in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to stay notified. <laughs> and as always, follow Aaron and I at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. If you guys are digging on Renee and Jerry, you can find them at lakehousefarms.com. Or if you're local and you want to check out their restaurant, they're open 5 to 9 on Wednesdays through Sunday. Wednesday through Sunday. So anyway, we had a blast doing this. We hope to do more live out in the field, maybe farm tours, just meeting people. And yeah. We're gonna start to get more collaborative. We're gonna do more supporting local. Yep. We hope you guys are into it. So until next time, be sure to eat seasonal, eat fresh, buy organic, go to your local farmer's market, and as always, eat, move, rest. Your best. <laughs> Bye. And in fact, there was a joke there that uh, the Catholic, the Catholic priest, priest yeah. shows up, you know, the Navy Catholic priest shows up, checks in, moves his stuff in, and promptly everything is stolen. And then they realized <laughs> he was a Catholic, Catholic priest, priest. Yeah. so they brought it all back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>